Hey guys, welcome back to the channel to another Rolling Stock uh, showcase. So what we have right here is a Pullman 3-2 Lounge. And that stands for, I believe, three uh, compartments, two drawing rooms, uh, and a lounge. I'm not really sure. It's three of the smaller rooms, two of the larger rooms, and uh, a lounge in the rear. And so, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see here. But this is a small, I, I believe the smaller rooms are, car, are called compartments. But here's one compartment with these two windows. Here's the drawing room. As you can see, there's two windows. And there's a, a, they have their private bathroom, which is right here. It's a nice glazed window. Here's another drawing room with their private bathroom and their, two, and their uh, room here. Here's another compartment and a, one last compartment room. And then this is a restroom back here with the bathroom. So that's how it works. And then over here, this is a lounge kind of area. You can kind of see there's a bunch of seats piled up here. And then obviously there's the rear observation deck, which is pretty cool. So the reason I have this car is because Santa Fe had a few of these in their roster. And um, the, San the, the Santa Fe ones that they did own, I don't believe they said Santa Fe. Instead, they just simply said Pullman, um, which is nice because this means I can get the Pullman car and also use it in say New York Central trains or other train companies because Pullman is kind of generic and it's kind of nice so anyways yeah uh, this is a Walther's car it's very nicely detailed and uh, these cars on eBay generally go for about uh, between I'd say 80 and uh, 120 dollars I've seen it sold sell for up to that much which is pretty crazy I paid 65 bucks for this car uh, as you know I'm really cheap because I can't afford this stuff otherwise and uh, the car actually did come with some issues unfortunately I did not take photos of the uh, damage but from this side uh, this ladder this step was broken off and there's glue marks all over it which is absolutely disgusting this uh, st this uh, gate here this um, railing was kind of broken into two pieces I did manage to glue it back together but it is kind of a weak bond Unfor unfortunately I don't generally touch that place so I don't think as long as I don't touch it I should be fine um, another thing was there are some glue marks which is really unfortunate there's a glue, glue mark right there and it's actually really prominent uh, next time I do take out my airbrush I'll be sure to uh, in a, if I have some matte um, paint or you know a matte what do you call it a matte clear coat I'll be sure to uh, spray some here so hopefully it can disappear at least for the most part and there's some more uh, glue marks over here which I'm not going to do anything about because these are actually really subtle it's kind of hard to see unless if you show, show, shine it in the, in the correct uh, lighting so that one I'm not going to worry about this top one I'll figure it out with some paint and this part already repaired as you can tell so very first thing was I, repair, I uh, glued this step back on uh, I actually managed to color, color uh, match the green and I uh, painted over the uh, shiny glue marks and I obviously I didn't repair that but that's not the main point of the video. The main point of the video is actually to get this light underneath the observation deck to light up. And that was a really interesting uh, project, mini project of mine. As you know, I add a um, I add constant lighting to all my cars. And so this one was a little different because I also wanted this light to light up. So as you can see in the beginning, this is what it looks like by default. There's a screw up there, which looks, well, pretty bad. So uh, I took one of these LEDs, which you can find literally everywhere. Uh, it looks like this previously, and then I just kind of sanded it down, and then I used increasingly finer sandpapers to uh, polish the the, um, the the front of it. So it's not like white; it's nice and clear, uh, which looks really cool. And then you can see I fit it inside the uh, place, and it looks really nice. And that's that. I don't think I, here's here's the picture. So as you can see, I did my normal. Um, constant lighting circuit there's a little capacitor hidden inside this little tiny room that has no window so you can't see the capacitor uh, from the outside which is awesome so yeah this is a capacitor hidden in there and then here's the wires to the bridge uh, rectifier and there's some resistors that go to the main lighting strip which is here and then at the very back here there's a little tiny LED with the two little leads coming out and uh, there's a little resistor that basically wires it together uh, in in parallel with this lighting strip. This lighting strip I used a 5k resistor and then for this LED I used I believe it was like a 4k resistor? I'm not really sure. It is a bit brighter than the LED strip which is nice. Uh, so yeah that's pretty much all the light, uh, the circuitry there is. I don't know if you kind of can see there's a little tiny capacitor with the leads coming out. 
uh, over here, which is sort of acts like the battery so the lights don't flicker. Yeah, here's a close up of the light. You can see the LED uh, leads come out and then the wiring goes into place. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can see the light lights up really nicely. In fact, I can show you right now. Um, if I, well, I guess I just take it off. And uh, you can see, you could just kind of imagine how that would look. Um, and it's nice. So in the nighttime, or in other words, if I turn the lights off, like that, you can see that the lights inside the car light up. Let me turn this off real quick. And then you can see that, um, there's the nice light in the back there. It's not too bright, but it's just right. So you can see that there is something lit. Um, I might add some figures actually later in the back so you can, so the lights better shine on them. Um, but yeah, so it is bright enough, but it's not too bright to the point where it's like unrealistic. And then um, lastly, I always keep the wall, there's a little tiny uh, bag of handrails and wires and I uh, drilled the holes out and I place these wire grabs here, here, and then coupling lever right here, as you can see, uh, with the little eye, uh, eye hooks, whatever they're called, um, drill the holes in there. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty much the end of the project, and uh, yeah, it turns out to be a really nice looking car. Here's a close-up of it. Uh, yeah, the, the wire grabs definitely add another level of realism to this, and uh, so yeah, they, they come in regular just metal color, unpainted, and then I painted them black. Uh, just with my hand with a tiny little brush and yeah it may, really makes the car look really nice so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed i'm sure you will see this car in my in the near future um in i don't know another video <laughs> and uh yeah so be sure to watch out for this car it's really cool looking i still need to add some figures and in whatever inside there um and i think that's it really for this car oh and also cover up this paint spot but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.